We're whisking you away to the Tuscan countryside this week on the ultimate four day Tuscan road trip. Expect waterfalls, hot springs, hilltop villages, crystal clear sea, camping amongst the vineyards, and of course, a few van life mishaps along the way. Oh, my wish isn't coming true. Guys, we got a bit of a van life disaster. Who cares, have fun, <laughs> live your life. Maybe so we can cook outside. <laughs> Not today though. Just flying away. Oh, quick, quick, go, 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 go. I've got some bad news. We had a beer <laughs> and Isabel has actually lost it. I think this is one of my favorite weeks traveling for a while. We are kicking off our Tuscan road trip by visiting the capital of Tuscany, Florence. Before we start doing anything, we've got to get an espresso. We've got to start the day the Italian way. Um, uh, Vorre due espresso al banco. In Florence, it costs 50 cent more to sit al tavallo at the table. Or you can drink your espresso like the Italians do at the bar, al banco, have a couple of swigs, and off we go. <laughs> Florence is the birthplace of the Renaissance, and nothing quite says the Renaissance like Michelangelo's David. But we couldn't get tickets, they were all sold out. The queue it's extremely long and we've been queuing for like 45 minutes already and we've made such small progress that Tom has decided to call it. He wants out. We really wanted to go and see it but we only have about six hours here in Florence so we've decided not to spend our entire day queuing. You can buy tickets for nearly all of the museums online and get time slots so you don't have to queue you can just turn up at the right time but you have to be quite organised which is not us. Behind us we have the main cathedral here in Florence and it is spectacular. Whilst we won't be going in the Duomo, we're going to appreciate it from the outside. The queue's already too long, but it is so spectacular. It's such a beautiful building. And it's one of those buildings that, like, just from the outside, it's breathtaking. As we come around the side of the cathedral, we see the impressive dome. For hundreds of years, this cathedral was topless. It didn't have any roof. And that is because technology was not advanced enough for them to be able to create a dome this big. It can be kind of hard to get a good view of the Duomo up close because it's so huge. First people, keen beans. We've heard that in this department store, there's a rooftop bar. Yay, we found it. We are the first ones up here. We've got a 360 view all across the city. Now we're a little bit further away, but you can really get a sense of the scale of the dome. It really takes you away from the busy streets of Florence and just to come up here and actually get a closer look at the dome is, is really cool. It's nice to escape the crowds up here. I'm really surprised that Florence is quite as busy as it is. We are out of season, but every museum has queues all the way down the block, round the corner, back round again. And uh, it's nice to come to somewhere so beautiful, but it's really quiet. <laughs> We have come to the leather market and whilst we might not be buying any leather there is a famous little statue here, a bronze pig called Font Fontana del Porcellino. <laughs> what you've got to do is put a coin in his mouth and then if the coin, make a wish and if the coin drops through that grate then your wish comes true. I'm going for it. Yes. Oh my wish isn't coming true. <laughs> I made a really good wish as well. Damn. No, no. Uh, Yet again, another very, very busy spot. Unfortunately, no wishes came true for us today. Here we are at Plaza della Signora. This square has lots of amazing statues. While we've been driving in the van, we've been listening to Stephen Fry's Mythos. So we've been learning all about the ancient Greek and Roman myths. Uh, and we can see some from here. We can see the Medusa with his head cut off. Florence was a really important place during the Renaissance and if you can name anyone from that period of time, chances are they probably came from Florence. David used to be here but then it got moved to protect it to the gallery. So we might not be able to see it in the museum but we can see a replica here in the square. This is the same size as the real David and you get a sense of how big it is. It's five metres tall. He embodies the city of Florence, the essence of the city of Florence and he also signifies the start of the Renaissance art movement. Florence is built on the river and there's lots of bridges that cross it, but this one is definitely the most famous. All of the shops along this bridge are gold and silver shops, and this is a tradition which has continued since the medieval times.
Everything's so shiny and pretty. I want some diamonds. <laughs> Give me a Rolex. <laughs> that was really fun heading into Florence for the morning. If you were going to visit, I would pre-plan. So you can get your tickets and just turn up to the museum and not have to queue. This is where our Tuscany road trip really begins. We thought we'd start it off in Florence, but now we're gonna head back into the nature. As you guys know, we are, we are nature lovers. As nice as it is going into the city, I belong in that nature. <laughs> so we've been driving not too far out of Florence. We are in the Chianti region and no stay in Tuscany is complete without drinking a bottle of wine from the vineyard you are currently sat on. Diver, to the vineyard. And I would like to camp there and I would like to be able to drink the grapes from outside my van. Do you want to go up here or do you want to go down there? Tonight we are camping amongst a vineyard. We're just sleeping amongst the vines. Just us. I'm so glad to be out of the city. I mean, it was yeah. lovely, but it was just really busy. The people showed us all around. They showed us how, where they make the wine and they showed us the vi vines that they're currently planting and all the old bottles from like years ago. This is del 1900, And they sold us a bottle of wine. So this is the wine they grow here. It looks really fancy. It's literally from the grapes here, which yeah. is really cool. Yeah. It's so hard. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> We are lucky because we've got this campsite all to ourselves. And even if you came and it was full, it wouldn't be crowded because there's only about five pitchers from what I can tell. Each of them have their own little electricity station. And there's even, we weren't expecting this, but there's even showers and toilets. So that's another bonus. I'm definitely having a hot shower. If you're a regular viewer, you'll remember that a couple of weeks ago we got Starlink. I just wanted to let you know it's pretty good. Uh, we have been getting some pretty incredible speeds. It does draw quite a bit of power and we've been leaving it on for quite long periods of time. Beware of your batteries. We have actually been watching a little bit more TV in the evenings now that we don't have to worry so much about our data usage. If you're like us, you might be quite particular about what you watch. When the streaming platforms you want don't have your shows, it can be really annoying. Which is why I'm really pleased to say that this week we've partnered with Surfshark. Surfshark is a VPN, a virtual private network. And what that does is it tricks the internet into thinking you're in a different place to where you actually are. So for us here in Italy, we can pretend we're in America, for example, and we get access to all of the American shows, meaning we can choose from a much bigger range of shows. This feature doesn't only work on streaming services, it will also work on other websites. For example, if you were booking a flight or a hotel, you could change your location and see if you can save some money by using Surfshark. Surfshark also encrypts your data between the computer and the internet, meaning that nobody else can access it. You can also install Surfshark on all of your devices, whether that's a phone, a laptop, a tablet, a computer, a projector, it's got it all covered, all at the same time with one purchase of Surfshark. If you'd like to try out Surfshark and want 83% off and three months for free, plus a 30 day money back guarantee, go and check out the link in the description or in the pinned comment and use the code TRANSIT. We got a bit of a van life disaster. Our fridge has broken. So the wire has that plugs into the cigarette lighter for our fridge has completely frazzled. It's melted. It's gone. We did a massive food shop yesterday. We've got loads of veg, loads of stuff fresh in the fridge that now needs eating up as soon as possible. So I'm thinking I'm gonna try and make a dinner with as much stuff in the fridge as I possibly can. I've got some bad news. Can you guess what the bad news is? Your stinky fart brain? Not that. Gas has run out. Mm. I'm halfway through cooking the ratatouille. Look at that. We have no backup. Okay, I've been thinking about it. It could have definitely been worse. It could have been like pasta, rice, or potatoes. It's just vegetables, and you know what? It's it, the dish itself is warm. It's just not cooked. So I'm going to dig into some raw ratatouille. 
it wasn't so bad, it was actually alright, it was kind of crunchy. Good morning from a beautiful vineyard. Oh, it's another sunny day in Tuscany today. And you know what guys, to make the whole experience of running out of gas a bit sweeter, uh, this morning I discovered that our jar of coffee has got a massive crack in it. So there's probably bits of glass in the coffee anyway. So we couldn't even have coffee even if we wanted to. So bye bye coffee. Hello beautiful Tuscan sun. We've had to come and find a cafe to have our morning coffee and we've come to the start of the Col Val d'Elsa. I've got my swimming costume, I'm hoping for a swimming opportunity along this walk. Oh, look at that! I tried it. It's really cool, what a lovely walk. We're only two seconds into it and there's these really, really green turquoise water and then these waterfalls, it's amazing. So to find this walk, I literally just Googled best walk in Tuscany and this was number one on all trails. This is like kind of what I imagined Italy to be like, all these little perfect turquoise pools and waterfalls. This walk is really nice and it's not too long. It's a really good activity for a morning and you're walking through the dappled shade. So I imagine in summer when it's pretty hot, uh, you could stay cool and you only need to be able-bodied enough to go over some stepping stones. Uh, it's all pretty flat and not too strenuous. <laughs> it's flying away. Oh, quick, quick, go, 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 go. Oh, Tom's lost his bottle in the river. Quick! Yay! I really hope nothing's in my pockets. Woo! Woo! Tom forgot his shoes at the bridge. You little scallywag, aren't you? You're a bossy boots, who cares? Have fun. <laughs> Live your life. <laughs> that was a real piggy snort then. Who just dropped their bottle in the river? Who just left their shoes by the bridge? Who had fun? Who had a good time? Who, who isn't hurt or injured? Oh. It doesn't matter if you make mistakes. <laughs> I know. What matters is giving it a go and having fun while you do it. <laughs> you you're just, you're as bad as the YouTube commenters. Welcome to Monte Riccioni, a tiny little village on top of a hill surrounded by medieval walls. The perfect place for us to so come and have a refreshing beer in the sun. It's very sweet. We've been wandering around and just soaking up. I love the quiet atmosphere in the square because there's no cars and it's just you and other people sitting on the terrace drinking a beer. We had a beer <laughs> and Isabel has actually lost it. I got a lot of energy, guys. I want it. There's a lot of songs and dances. <laughs> I've got something to say, guys. <laughs> One of my favorite things about this town is that the Via Francigena goes through it, which is a pilgrimage that I've only just learned about, but I really want to do it. It goes all the way from Canterbury in England to Rome in Italy. 1,722 kilometers to Canterbury. Shall I get walking, guys? I better go. But you can see the dark clouds rolling in over Tuscany, and it probably means some storms are on the way. The wind is picking up, it's getting pretty windy. So I think we're gonna go find our park up for the night. Mm. It's a really nice little town, mm. worth the visit. 
we have found this place up amongst the vineyards and the olive trees and it's really really quite nice blue skies looking really nice and over this side thunder and lightning dark skies i think we're going to be in for quite a stormy night tonight is there something about warm wind yeah it's really nice, nice. last night our gas ran out uh, we did go and have a look in town to see if we could find some more gas. We found a camping gas supplier. This is our first job today. Let's hope it's just a quick, easy replacement of these bottles. Nope, brick okay, don't have it. Next try, decathlon. Okay, we have not been successful. They don't have it in decathlon. Um, but now I'm eyeing up this cooker. Cause basically, in the van, we have two of these small gas canisters. And I'm thinking we don't have a cooker. Annoyingly, we left it at my mum's house. So we could either buy a small cooker for 21 euros or a big cooker that would fit onto our little gas canister, 70 euros. But I don't know, maybe it would be quite cool to be able to cook outside. So much though. Should I just do it? It's a baller move. I went for it guys. We got ourselves a new camping stove to cook outside and some Camping chairs! I bring you our new toy. I'm so excited that we got this. Literally brings me so much joy. And it works with our little gas canisters that we've got. It means that we can cook outside. <laughs> Not today though. <laughs> I saw it, that was cool. That was a small one. That was cool. There's two, there's one that out there, really one cool. over there. Kind of at light. Ah, oh, the storms have passed. Ground's a bit soggy though, isn't it? Yeah, a bit soggy on the old tip fees. Very pretty though. Welcome to day three of our Tuscan road trip. We have actually driven about an hour today. Uh, we stopped in to Siena en route, which is a beautiful city. We, um, we picked up our package, which should be a new power cable for the fridge. We just ordered it. Oh, wow. It's like a fancy one. Ooh, looks it, better. It did not look like that on Amazon. But yeah, that should... Uh, fix the fridge hopefully. Because we don't have an address, we just got our parcel delivered to this tabacchi, little tobacco shop in Siena, and they collect it there. So that's how we get posts on the road. We've now driven on a bit further to one of the places which is the most stereotypically Tuscan. I mean, just over the road behind us is Gladiator's house from the film Gladiator. It feels like we have just wandered into a Windows 95 desktop background. It is really beautiful. We decided to have some food outside. Ah, oh, and guys, I'm trying out my new chair. <laughs> Imagine if I fell. I'm trying out my new chair. Got a massive bowl of pasta. That's good. We are in a region which is probably the sort of thing you think of when someone says Tuscany. It's rolling hills, olive groves, and it looks incredible. We're going to drive through this valley. That's sort of our only plan for today. And then we're going to head further down south. Wow, we are in the most amazing place. It's just like Teletubby land. <laughs> Get your own ideas, mate. <laughs> Literally, I, I say something and then Isabel goes, oh, I'm going to turn on the camera and then she says exactly what I said. So Copying flattered. is the best form of flattery. We have driven for a few hours through the Tuscan countryside and oh my word, it was gorgeous. Guys, the best thing about this campsite is you can order pizza delivered right to the campsite. So we've got two marinaras on the way. This is it, our pizza delivered straight to our campsite. It is just coming up to six in the morning. 
the sun is rising behind me. We are heading down to the hot springs here because we're apparently we get quite busy in the day and we want to see them on our own at sunrise. Wow, it's so beautiful this morning. I just love the early mornings. It's now six o'clock and it's getting very light and you can see the steam rising up from the Cascata del Molino, which are these natural hot springs here in Tuscany. So cool, it's just steaming up. Oh, let's try out the water. Oh, that is amazing. <laughs> Look at the place. Woohoo! I am officially in the hot springs on my own. It is amazing. There's a massive waterfall back there that I'm definitely going to put my head under. It's the perfect temperature. It's like a nice bath, not too hot. It's so delightful. And look at the colour of the water. Oh, what an amazing place. This is paradise. Honestly, I think it's one of the coolest places I've ever been. And there's these like really nice round pebbles on the floor so it's not gross or anything it's just perfectly rounded pebbles really nice for your feet on oh, even the waterfall is warm <laughs> there is definitely a reason why these springs are so popular they're very special because they're so natural and there's not they've not been commercialized in any way there's no entrance fee there's no changing area wow that sun coming up so today is our fourth and final day on the great tuscan road trip uh we have had a hell of a start to the day i am just in such a great mood what a way to start things off wow uh, this is like one of the best places i've ever been um, what a week, we have one more place to go, I'm really excited to get there as well. Springs were a little sulphurous, so they had a slight eggy tinge. I got rid of the eggy smell, because my hair was smelt of egg. That was the only negative of the hot spring, but obviously that's just what you get from a hot spring. But yeah, my hair did stink of egg, so I had a three minute shower. And that was before you got in. Yeah, I really recommend <laughs> staying at that campsite as well. It was only 16 euros and you can stay there for a whole 24 hours, which is quite nice. So if we wanted to, we could have stayed there until 6 p.m. tonight. But we've got places to be, we want to see more of Tuscany. Tuscany is best known for its rolling countryside. It also has a long, beautiful coastline. So we are heading towards the coast. We are currently driving across a very narrow spit of land onto a peninsula, which is very, very nearly a uh, island apart from this narrow strip. It's called Monte Argentario. We found somewhere to park up underneath these pine trees, giving us some dappled shade, and the sea is twinkling behind us. Just when we thought this road trip couldn't get any better, we are ending it on the beach in this little island and the sea is crystal clear. Wow. Oh, I love the sea. I've never seen water that clear in my life, apart from in like a swimming pool. Today is the first properly hot day and we've been spending ages building this little shelter but now it's built it's so nice and cool under here I could definitely just sit here and read all day. Tuscany has been incredible we've seen the countryside and the cities and now the beaches wow I like I knew Tuscany was gonna be amazing but this has really blown me away 
we've only been in Italy for about 10 days or something and it's it's been so good so far we've been on a mission to try and find the sun and now I'm trying to escape it <laughs> we've definitely uh, succeeded I think this is one of my favorite weeks traveling for a while it's just been so nice I'm excited to see what else Italy has to offer thank you so much for watching guys 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 so you take that it comes with a Oh. Why have you done that? Pitch black. Pitch, of wind. pitch black. Guys, this is so exciting. It comes with a carry case. Yay! Kevin gets carry case. Oh, and you put your little gas bottle in there at the back. Right, more exciting. I'm going to have a glass of wine and watch this thunderstorm out the back door. more exciting than this. Where's, so. where's the wine from last night that we didn't drink? Well, give me some. I've got my big cup, though. No, I think I can fit, the whole, bo I I can fit the whole bottle in there. I think you have your over more than your share last night. Is he? I don't think there's enough for two people in that. There is. Don't be bit. mean. Wait, oh, what are you doing? Don't push me out of the way. Pushing you out the shop. <laughs> Look at this. I got my camping gas. Don't worry about me, guys. I got my camping gas. Is it? Yeah. Do you think that's going to make it in the video? Yeah. <laughs> Look, Tom, how cool is this? Camping gas fashion show. Look. Come look, 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 look. Oh, there's a fire over that farm as well. How dramatic. How cute is that? That's funny. Look, the little gas bottle fits in there. What are you doing? It's a video. Tom's a happy bunny. Happy bunny. Those hot springs have got something in them. Yeah. I think you can smell it. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> what are you doing? Right, guys. I got a dance for you. Come this way. Okay, guys. I got a dance for you. It's building up. I can feel it. One day I'm gonna walk to Rome from That's England. It. Around six o'clock, the thunder comes in, the rain pours, and it's quite rain. exciting if you ask me. <laughs> it's just like something out of a <laughs> screensaver. Shut up. <laughs> I'm dizzy. <laughs>